Scott Allison, and this is my video blog called That Would Make a Good Shirt. I run an eco-friendly apparel business that specializes in unique fashion and cutting-edge custom design and printing. The focus of this series is inspiration from imagination and education. This is my first video, so I'll be pretty much an introduction on how I mix art with green business. We'll call this first one Getting to Know You, and by you, I mean me. I thought that this would be a good place to start. This is my painting studio. You see, I am an artist. I paint and I draw and I do photography. And I've even done some film. Uh, all of these pursuits have kind of led me into doing some graphic design work. Um, and I've got now seven years of experience in graphic design, uh, which has inevitably led me down the path of my own apparel company. Um, the overall look of the company is defined from my artistic background, uh, from the designs that I do to the custom work that I've done for clients, um, and then the model for the way that the business is done is based on my um, passion to uh, leave a smaller footprint on the planet. Uh, I am an advocate for the earth and uh, I couldn't in good consciousness uh, open up a business and not do it in the most eco-friendly way that I could. Uh, so we specialize in uh, clean printing processes and use water-based inks with no phthalates or PVCs and um, we also uh, print on garments that are organic cotton, hemp, bamboo, um, you know, things like that, recycled PET, some of it, uh, or blends of all of these things. What I really want to talk about is uh, inspiration and uh, how I come about in um, working on a design, because this whole series is going to be based on, uh, we're going to talk about designs and the creative process uh, that I go through and uh, maybe something that you go through and uh, if any of you have any techniques or uh, feedback or comments, feel free to give me an email, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Um, what I'm going to do for this first video is I'm going to do a quick drawing. As you can see, I'm going to start off with some pencil, and then I'm going to quickly get into doing an ink drawing. Uh, I have chosen an octopus as uh, my subject matter. Um, Honestly, mostly because I have a two-year-old daughter, and when she says octopus, it sounds really funny because she says abacus. Uh, and so I try and get her to look at pictures of octopus all the time uh, because I like hearing her say that. So I started off with a drawing of an octopus, and um, you get to see the drawing transpire here. And um, as you can see, I draw very fast. Don't try this at home. Uh, you could hurt yourself. And, uh, and then we're going to take this drawing, um, I'm going to scan it into the computer, and then I'll go into um, Adobe Illustrator and I'll create a background and I'll put that on, and then that image will, will get printed onto a shirt, and then that shirt is my final product, which I'm going to take and I'm going to put it onto a model, and Alba Photography helped me do this uh, photo shoot um, so that I have a completed product that um, you can see on this lovely model. And if you would like to see uh, this and other designs, you're welcome to visit www.artisanorganics.com. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for me this time. Uh, I would like to invite you to come back in one week when my next video will be up. And it's going to be called Dr. Smidley's Parabolic Hierarchy of Needs. And I'm going to be talking about hopes and dreams and fears and uh, consumerism. It's going to be awesome. So you won't want to miss it. The other